The pediatric doses of Pfizer's vaccine are ready to go for ages 5 to 11. On Tuesday, the FDA advisory board will meet to discuss EUA approval. Officials in some states already getting ahead of an expected authorization. In just a few days' time, millions of parents all across the United States should be able to breathe a sigh of relief. Pfizer says its two-dose pediatric shot, which is one-third the adult dosage, is more than 90 percent effective. While Moderna just announced its COVID vaccine for children triggers a robust immune response with mostly mild to moderate side effects. Nearly 30 million children could become eligible. But being eligible and being vaccinated are two different things. Only 30 percent of parents say they would get their children vaccinated right away. This mom of four in Kentucky is not one of them. It's so mild in kids. Like, why? Why even risk it on them? University of Indiana sociologist Jessica Colarco looked into the underlying factors with a group of 80 moms from different backgrounds. Were you surprised by how many parents in your group were vaccinated themselves but aren't going to get their kids vaccinated right away? Absolutely. The messaging they've heard throughout the pandemic is that kids are going to be okay, and so they're more willing to take that chance. And the message of social responsibility is not resonating. That's one of the big problems here, is that we have a model of public health in the U.S. that is very focused on individual risk and individual responsibility. With vaccines, we need as many people to be vaccinated as possible to protect those who can't get vaccinated. The other issue, she says, is COVID news fatigue. As one mom told me, she said she's just putting her head in the sand. She's just tired of, of all the information. If they aren't listening, changing minds won't be easy. Stephanie, the American Academy of Pediatrics released its latest COVID number. Sounds like another week of good news. Yeah, it is, Lester. Seven weeks in a row of cases going down. The peak was about 250,000. Last week, it was less than half that. But the Academy says the number is still too high. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.